regular show is about a kid named Chris. Yeah, silly you. Chris loved cartoons, but soon got into creepy pasta. It started out with him reading Squidward's Suicide that a friend sent him a link to, but it soon grew into so much more. Before he knew it, he had read every theory, lost episode, and literally everything to do with Jeff the Killer or Slenderman. Eventually, he had grown a full-scale addiction. It just started out as him trying to write creepypasta articles. He didn't do much progress, but kept trying. In time, he started to purposely imagine Jeff the Killer standing behind him, or Slender Man hiding in every shadow and tree, almost like if he was preparing his brain for something insane to happen. This made him jumpy. Every noise behind him gave him shivers. All of this was the safe part. After a while, he was still seeing the faces, but now they weren't intentional. Every now and then, he'd see Jeff's face in a crowd of people. Then he watched SpongeBob SquarePants, and his view of Squidward was permanently set to his face in Squidward Suicide. It was pure insanity. At some point, his mother cut onto this due to the fact that he was a distant, jumpy, and started talking to himself. So she took him to a doctor who prescribed nothing more than some pills and some well needed sleep. At first, it worked, but it didn't take long to make his condition worse. He started to freak out more when he could see ghostly faces every time he shut off the lights. On a really bad trip, he ran away from home and collapsed in the woods about a mile away from his house. In his unconscious state, he had an insane dream where everything was a cartoon. Mordecai and Rigby were thought of because he saw a bird and a raccoon run past him before he passed out. They both symbolized him in different ways, yet both are lay-around slackers. Arbitrary. But with the fact that Mordecai always tries to get Rigby to stop his crazy antics, Mordecai is his conscious, and Rigby is his subconscious that supports all of his crazy ideas. Benson represents his father, who would always try to make him do work and get him to do more than sit around watching cartoons. The gumball machine represents a gumball machine his father gave him once for Christmas. The only real gift ever given to him from his dad. Now, I'm sure you expect Margaret to symbolize a girl he liked and that liked him back, but was never able to ask out because of his condition. Wrong. You were wrong. She actually represents his sister, Silly You, not for the reasons that you would think though, but because she was more successful, outgoing, well-adjusted, and wasn't obsessed with cartoons. She even had a job at the local coffee shop. Chris idolized his sister and would do anything to impress her. Muscle Man represents a friend, Mitch, that he had before he started losing his mind. This friend would always hit him, push him around, basically make him his little bitch. The whole my mom thing is because Mitch would always make your mom jokes to literally everyone. But one time he got it wrong and said my mom and it became this whole thing of ridicule towards him. High five ghost was kind of like Mitch's sidekick. He would always high five Mitch after he made his your mom jokes but would usually not say much. The reason High Five Ghost is a ghost in the show is because Mitch's sidekick in real life committed suicide after the death of his father, which explains in the Trucker Hall of Fame episode, Benson tells Mordecai and Rigby that Muscle Man's father doesn't do this sort of thing. This is in consideration of Muscle Man's father being dead. Skips represents Chris's older brother. Much like his sister, he idolized his brother. Skips was always working out. To Chris, Skips was the strongest man to ever live. He also believed that Skips would never die. P 
tops represents Chris's pedophile grandfather. That's why he was a somewhat cliche pedophile with a high voice. He would play childhood games with Chris, which led to the unspeakable. In Chris's head, Pops was a lollipop for obvious yet sick reasons. So, yeah. Silly you for not thinking regular show was arbitrarily based on some kid named Chris who had these cool older brother and older sister got molested by his granddad and had a, a retard friend that killed himself <laughs> and had nothing to do with the actual animators, Cartoon Network, J.G. Quinton. No, no, it's just this random kid. So, um, yeah, there's your regular show, bitches.